Now, if you were off to a building site, you'd expect to need some protective clothing. Hard hat? Check. Hiver's jacket? Check. Umbrella? Umbrella? The property crash in 2008 left many in the construction industry struggling for work. But despite building projects being on the up, some workers say their take-home pay is going down. Many blame the proliferation of so-called umbrella companies that now process payroll for some building employment agencies, managing the wages of between three and 400,000 construction workers. I'm meeting one such construction worker who wants to remain anonymous as he's worried he'll lose his job and be blacklisted. Hi there. Hi, OK. Thanks for meeting us here. No problem. There was deductions within my payslip, which I was uncomfortable with. And obviously I challenged that saying, look, why am I paying employers national insurance when I'm not an employer? There was more deductions like the margins where they were charging me 27 pound a week to pay myself, which I wasn't comfortable with as well. I said, look, this can't be right. I'm coming to work in theory, doing three hours of work a day before I even get paid because it was over a hundred pound a week. It was 400 pound plus a month. That £400 got children and stuff at home, wife, children, house, bills. It's better off in my pocket. Brian Rye is the National Secretary for the Construction Industry Union, UCAT. So explain to me what it is you think these umbrella companies are doing wrong. They're just simply paying, passing on the employer's national insurance contributions to the worker. Can a construction worker just refuse to deal with these umbrella companies and say, no, I want a standard employment contract? The reality is that most of the workers don't get that choice. The reality is they accept that job on those terms or there's no job. We've spoken to several people employed by different agencies. All are paid by umbrella companies and all say they're out of pocket. On the site the boys were talking and they said, um, who's paying you? And I said, well, the agency I suppose. And they said, no, they, they don't pay you. It's, there's another company. So how much did you think you were going to get paid for the job? Well, I thought we'd get the normal, you know, after paying tax. It wasn't until the when I received the wage slip, I could see how they, they'd broken down my wages. And it was not as what I thought it was going to be. It was also very complicated. Blue Water Recruitment paid umbrella company Red Contractors £500 for Terry's 40-hour week. Red Contractors then deducted the employer's national insurance contribution and something for themselves. They paid him the minimum wage rate of 6 50 an hour rather than the 12 50 he thought he was on then bumped that up a bit with holiday pay and so-called additional pay, which no one can explain to us. Finally, there were the usual employee deductions for tax and national insurance, leaving Terry with £358.76. So how much could Terry expect to take home if he was employed directly by Blue Water Recruitment? Let's work it out. 40 hours at £12.50 an hour is £500. Now, take off £59 for income tax and another £41 for national insurance. That leaves him with £400. Add an extra £45 he was expecting to accrue as holiday pay and you've got a total of £445. So he was down by nearly £100. We asked the employment agency, Blue Water Recruitment Limited, why they used an umbrella company and if they paid employer national insurance contributions. They told us, as Terry was employed by Red Contractors Limited, they had no responsibility for secondary contributions to the taxman and said they give people the choice of working either through an umbrella company or under PAYE with Blue Water. We also contacted the umbrella firm, Red Contractors Limited, to ask why they made employees pay the employer's national insurance contributions. They declined to answer but pointed out that the tax authorities are not taking steps to stop employers using umbrella companies. Union leaders say the industry's exploiting a loophole to shift tax liabilities onto the workforce. Well, it's a racket by another name, and it's every bit as bad as the current fury over zero-hours contracts. I would argue it's even worse than that. Well, the company may have spoken too soon there, as the Chancellor and the Welsh Government both say they are cracking down on umbrella firms.